Good morning, West USA Realty. My name is Keith Flynn. I'm the director of digital marketing here at West USA. Welcome to another social media webinar on this beautiful Thursday morning, uh, soon to be uh, the surface of the sun. I believe we've got a 115 heat advisory coming up. So uh, if you've listened to any of my webinars, you know I'm a weather geek. I like to always start off with a little bit of what the weather looks like. And if you're in Arizona, it's always sunny. Uh, that's for sure. But hey, at the end of the day, I appreciate everyone attending. Uh, whether you are a West USA agent or not, or you're with another brokerage, welcome. Certainly excited to have you guys here. We'll be going through Facebook 101, basically Facebook basics, getting your business page set up, uh, share some tips, some tricks, some things that we can do to manage your social media, just a general navigation of using Facebook. So whether you've created an account not really sure uh, what to do with it, or you're just starting from scratch, we'll fly through that in a live environment once we hit some of these slides this morning. Um, of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or compliments, feel free to jump in that chat box there on your right-hand side. Uh, we are in a live environment. I am here. Uh, this is not recorded. Well, it's being recorded, but it's not a recording, uh, so I'm happy to answer any questions you may have or um concerns you may have. And of course, after the fact, if you have any comments or concerns, questions, you can email me. I'm Keith at WestUSA.com and that's K-E-I-T-H at WestUSA.com. And like all of my uh, social media webinars, uh, I'm always really excited to have some sponsors. We always have the luxury of some fantastic partnerships with some of our vendors here in the state of Arizona. And two of us, two of them that are with us this morning uh, are, are uh, some awesome vendors and really excited to have them on. And they like to share with us a little bit about what's happening in their world and what they can do to help benefit you as a real estate agent. Um, as you know, it's a vital importance to have a number of vendors that work with you throughout the contract and through the home buying and selling process. And so uh, filling in for Ryan Wright this morning from OneGuard is our friend Shelly. And uh, we wanted to jump in and see how Shelly's doing. Shelly, what's going on in your world today? All right. Hello. Can everyone hear me? Sure can. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yep, I'm filling in for Ryan today with OneGuard. Um, we're doing good. We're expecting that heat to come, but we're yeah. still getting contractors out for sure. Um, you know, we've been in an essential business ever since the beginning of everything. So, um, in fact, since everyone has been home at their houses, our claims have increased probably about 18% wow. um, compared to last year. So that's, that's pretty big. Um, we are hiring, we're still trying to do, you know, hiring and doing training classes, getting more people on the phones, um, at all times. And then the only thing I really want to um, let everyone know is we're doing our promotion right now. It's $50 off our top two plans. That is good until tomorrow. I'm not sure if they're going to extend it through the end of the month. Um, right now, the expiration date is July 10th. So if you have a closing um, coming up, even if it's at the end of July or in August, go ahead and place your order in the next couple of days so you can get that $50 off. The code is stay cool. Um, you can talk to either me or Ryan, and I can throw my information up in the chat here as well. Um, yeah. So if anyone has any questions, just let me know. That's awesome. You know, and that's a crazy dynamic, Shelly. I didn't really think about it. It's like, yeah, we are all at home now. We're more often, we're more, more at home more now than we have in the past. So we're, we're using more of our appliances, using more of the services in the house. And so it makes sense that you would see an increase. Yep, absolutely. That's crazy. Well, I really appreciate you guys being on with this and obviously sharing a little bit about what OneGuard can do for our agents. I actually have OneGuard Home Protection, so I know uh, you guys are fantastic. You're always responsive. Um, you know, and if you ever have, I have Ryan's personal cell phone number, so if anyone needs to call him after hours, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Shelly. I really appreciate you uh, sharing with us this morning. Yeah. All right, awesome. And then next we have with us Bree from VIP Mortgage. Uh, v is always a staple with us here at West USA and always helping out with the webinars and sharing in the morning. So how are you doing, Sherry? Oh, I'm sorry. How are you doing, Bree? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for having me, Keith. I'm so excited. I always love this class. I think Facebook changes so much all the time that it's good to kind of get updates. So I'm always excited to hear. Awesome. So what's yeah. happening in the VIP world? Um, so, um, I, so I do business development. I have a couple of amazing loan officers. Um, we, I have loan officers that we do a lot down here, 
but also up in Prescott. So if you need somebody up in Prescott, let us know. Um, but for my position, I like to work with agents and just kind of partner to see what we can do to help you guys to grow your business. Um, one of the things that I think everybody's pretty well aware of is that rates are awesome right now. So we've been doing a lot of refinancing. Um, I've been talking to agents a lot recently about this can be an opportunity for agents too. while a lot of times, you know, we look at refinancing as something that's really, we love it as in the mortgage industry, but for agents, it can be a great way to touch base with your previous clients. So it's a great way to just kind of have a reason to give them a call and see, you know, are you looking to sell? Are you looking to refinance? If they aren't looking to sell and they just, you know, refinancing could be an option. That's a great way to be a resource for them where they're like, wow, this person's amazing and you can get referrals out of that. You can get, so it's just a good way to kind of have something to chat with them about to say, hey, you know, I'm in the industry. This is kind of what we're seeing. Let me get you in touch with somebody. Um, so I've kind of, you know, been giving people that kind of little tidbit is just making sure that you're being in contact with people so that if they aren't aware that that's an option for them, that then they can get in touch and it kind of makes you that resource for them. So. Uh. Got it. So uh, are you guys still doing the virtual home tours, the virtual home houses? We are. So we have one that's coming up on the 23rd. Um, houses are going very quickly right now. Yeah. It seems like right as they're being listed, they're going under contract, which is amazing. I love it. But we do have a um, tour scheduled for the 23rd. So we do them on Thursdays and it starts at 3.30. So if you um, have a listing, we do them all through the valley so there's no zip code it's just anywhere in the valley and then we've also expanded it to outside areas so we had um some listings that were in prescott on our last one okay to kind of give agents an opportunity for if you have those like out of area buyers things like that so if you have a listing that you'd like to feature just shoot me over an email my email is free at mtginc.com i have like the entire alphabet um <laughs> so yeah just shoot us over an email with the mls that's all we need from you and we can send you the zoom link and you can hop on and even if you don't have a listing that you want to feature and you just kind of want to see some of the listings we encourage all agents to come on well that's awesome uh brie thank you so much for sharing and, and always a pleasure to have you on in the morning uh, on our thursdays so uh thank you again and again you can reach out to either um uh Shelly joined us from OneGuard. She'll be popping her information there in the chat box. If not, reach out to me. I can get it to you as well if you're interested in uh, learning more about OneGuard. And, of course, Bree's information there is on the screen as well. So thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Let's get rocking and rolling, guys. Um, so with Facebook this morning, we're uh, going to have a couple slides for you here. And then we're going to jump into a live environment and, and let you know, um, you know, share with you what uh, Facebook has happening in the way of some changes. There are daily, I get a text message from an agent or an email from an agent uh, who is experiencing the new look. I don't know if you guys know this, but Facebook has rolled out and is slowly incrementally rolling out their new redesign. Uh, it's their largest redesign to their website that they've had in a number of years. And some people love it. I've had a few people freak out and do not like it. Uh, but like everything, uh, we need to adapt to change. <laughs> change happens because uh, they're always tinkering with something when it comes to social media. And whether you pop in, this is your first time, weekly, however many times you join us here at West USA for our Thursday webinars, uh, again, we cover a, a bunch of different topics in all social media, digital advertising, graphic design. Uh, you can always visit us at our YouTube channel. That uh, It's uh, West USA. Um, Realty, our YouTube channel, just do a simple search. You can get to our channel has a ton of all of our past classes. Uh, and just like all of our past classes, this one will be recorded as well and there for you to review at your leisure. So uh, some goals for you guys as real estate agent, when it comes to using Facebook, um, you know, I often get the question, why do I need to be on Facebook? Why should I be using Facebook? And so I always like to start well with the, the, the why, some value propositions for you guys. And just reassure you that, like anything, uh, when you put your time into it you're, and you invest your time, you're going to get a lot out of it. And one of the main reasons why, as an agent, we are using uh, social media in general, but specifically Facebook, is to build an online audience and a relationship. Uh, whether you're using your business page or you are using the closed groups function on Facebook, 
uh, this is going to be the best way for you to build relationships at scale. And there's just no other way for you to do that offline, uh, especially in today's climate with COVID and social distancing and having to wear a mask. And so more now than everyone's, everyone's just really conscious to what is happening in the world. So uh, I've had a lot of people reach out and show interest in using Facebook, finally getting around to doing it. And so connecting with other local businesses uh, and communities uh, potential clients is the number one um, goal for you guys because you should be an, an industry expert and a neighborhood expert. And so uh, Facebook is a fantastic way for you to connect not only with potential clients, but for other businesses in the area uh, that you can complement your real estate services. Uh, enhancing your online marketing and your listing tools, being able to use Facebook to get the message out there about your listing is a fantastic opportunity. And then developing your online personality and your recognition. Um, uh, we've got folks who like being in front of a camera. We got folks who don't like being in front of a camera. And however you like to communicate, uh, Facebook is going to be the platform for you to get your information out there. And number one thing is it's cool. It's free. So anytime you can get over 2 billion people using a platform and you can get on there and promote your business at no cost uh, is definitely a good play. So I had a few folks tell me, you know, like, oh, I hear Facebook is dying or Facebook is if you know people are leaving Facebook, um, you know the, the the Facebook, while has a lot of issues, uh, there are some challenges they're dealing with with the public. Obviously, we've had um, uh, there was a boycott on spending any money with them, so I know that they've lost a lot of revenue with respects to large major businesses spending a large amount of ad dollars. At the end of the day, the statistics still show that Facebook is the number one platform that folks are logging onto multiple times a day. And so 76% of those that were polled uh, in a large st uh, study that was done in the last year shows that uh, Facebook's still the number one people that are still the number one platform that people are signing on to uh, frequently. And um, so it's good for you guys to be there. And I know being on all these social media platforms can be overwhelming, especially uh, not only just being on them, but then understanding and grasping how to have a strategic plan about marketing yourself, putting out content. And so uh, the two, you know, I like to dumb it down and keep it real easy. The two that I promote and love the most is Facebook and Instagram. So at the end of the day, I'm going to go where the audience is. And so wherever your audience is, is where you need to be. And so Facebook's definitely number one, Instagram being number two. And you can see there that based on our daily, uh, uh, each social media site daily being logged on to, they're still championing a pretty large number of folks. Over 70% of your Facebook users log in six to 10 times a day. So whether you're consuming five minutes here, five minutes there, 25 minutes here, wherever you're you know, uh, sitting in the lobby at the dentist's office, waiting for your coffee, looking down at your phone, hopefully not behind the driver's uh, driving wheel, the, the driver's seat <laughs> looking. But unfortunately, we have folks who are doing that. But you add up all that time, that's a lot of time. And I think the last estimates were about 40 minutes a day are spent uh, using social media. And if you're like me and you have an iPhone, um, you can always uh, go to your home screen, swipe left, and then scroll down to the bottom and see what your screen time is, which is always alarming for me when I look at that. And it'll break it down and tell you how many, uh, how many minutes you're spending uh, on a weekly basis on social media, your productivity, creativity, based on how the apps on your phone are are, are um, categorized, but I always thought that was interesting. You can get an idea. Uh, so far, I have today spent 21 minutes on Facebook, but given the nature of my business and, and what I do, that's common. But uh, you can always keep an eye on how you're doing uh, when it comes to using your devices. 80% of users connect to brands and businesses on Facebook, and, and oftentimes they're local brands. And so you being on there as a, as a real estate agent, as a business owner, um, you, it's definitely going to be advantageous for you to be there. So as I mentioned, we are well over 2.5 billion users now on Facebook. You have the option of being a business page or a personal page. Um, obviously, for you as a Facebook user, you do need to have a personal account, a personal page before you can manage a business page or even create one for that matter. So I would assume that you guys are, I'm hoping that you guys are, have already created a personal Facebook page in order for you to create a business page, which we will do here shortly when we log on to a live environment. Uh, one of the goals for you guys is being consistent uh, and with your content, uh, valuable information that you present 
when you share on Facebook will help with your self branding. Again, remember you guys are your business. Your face is your business as a real estate agent. So your personal branding, how you put yourself out there, the message you deliver, your values, your core values, whatever that looks like to you, it is going to be different for everybody uh, is the most important thing when you're putting out content on Facebook. What to post? I mean, that's a good question I get a lot. Hey, like, what do I do? What do I post? Like, what am I going to share? Uh, blogs, you know, do, do I, should I share my listings? Of course, you should share your listings. But we don't want it to always just be your listings and your uh, just sold or closing or, you know, we all love to see the family out front in the front lawn or in the rocks, <laughs> depending on where you're at, uh, with the sign, you know, uh, new home, just closed. Those are fantastic photos. We all want to see someone you know, achieving whether they're a first time home buyer or a repeat buyer. Um, those are great photos and videos to share, but we want to mix that up a little bit and provide a lot of value for folks to learn more about a neighborhood, yourself, uh, the home buying and selling process. Um, top of my marketing is really what is a key play for you guys here on Facebook, why we use it marketing for your for your business again free so uh, a platform where the most amount of people are at and there's no cost to you is going to be advantageous a uh, gaining a following is important you want to gain a following and build your audience build those relationships and have them watching for your content looking forward to your information um, and then ultimately driving traffic from Facebook to your listings. And then there is the option at the end there to create and run Facebook ads. Uh, we can get a little bit more into that later. I do have a second class that just specifically deals with Facebook ads themselves. So when it comes to Facebook guidelines, um, these aren't so much their guidelines. These are just some best shared uh, suggestions and tips that I have for you guys. And again, I mentioned being consistent, not constant. When I say consistent, that is actually adhering to a specific um, Monday, Thursday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, whatever that looks like to you, being consistent, one of the benefits of being consistent is that your audience will start to look for your content on those certain days. And something that will help you be consistent is an editorial calendar. An editorial calendar, obviously, uh, you can Google editorial calendar, blank calendar. Uh, I like to uh, print off blank i go to a google do a google search for a blank calendar fill in the dates and i like to pencil in topics the reason why i pencil them in is because those can often change um easy to erase uh it's ever lane ever changing landscape so uh, having the flexibility to change out your content and set your days of the week or the month monday is going to be a motivational content maybe wednesday will be a quick video on uh the you know a tip to the home selling or buying process and friday maybe an open house post um you know but that's always changing as, as your business changes so being constant not consistent meaning uh posting about every little nuance in your day is going to be um uh, considered high value content um and I know this is shouldn't have to say this. It's a no brainer, but don't share political, religious or controversial content as a real estate agent. And more now than ever, I've been seeing, unfortunately, a lot of folks get suckered into or engage in a lot of conversations about controversial content. And, and you know, and, and I know it's tough. The sentiment is often negative on social media. And so do your best to stay positive and put, you know, good, high value content out there that's going to educate your audience and um, engage with them and promote and encourage them to be uh, interactive with you and give, give, give is the big one. Uh, not only should you be pushing content, but you should also be responding to it. So whether you follow a business or a friend or a family member, or a potential client, um, you know, social media is a two way street. Don't be afraid to like comment and share. Um, you know, it's always good when you see something that you like, that's funny, whether it's a cat video or it's a recipe, or it is a beautiful new, uh, build in North Valley, sharing that information will definitely reciprocate when, uh, or you'll, you, people will reciprocate when you see that you are sharing with others. All right. So, um, we're going to jump into a live environment here and I'm going to go over to Facebook. Okay. Let's see if we break this real quick as I have done in the past. All right, gonna minimize the window here. And we will um, find my Chrome. All right, cool. So 
uh, we're, we are logged into Facebook. Whether you want to log in to your personal Facebook and follow along, completely up to you. However you like to learn is uh, up to you. And so, um, as always, uh, when I start off with Facebook, I like to just point out, assuming that the majority of the folks on this call are uh, our West USA agents, and you're not, if you're not an agent, I do apologize. I do have to just take us around the horn real quick and just share with you guys, if you are an agent with us, where you can find some additional resources, information about social media. Like all brokerages, uh, majority of them have their own business page. We have our own business page for the entire branch uh, or for the entire brokerage. And um, familiarizing yourself with social media or in Facebook in general is going to be important. But, you know, finding uh, your closed groups, finding your business pages is also a challenge too, because there's just so many of them. So at the top of the page here, you see there's a search bar uh, in the Facebook feed. You know, I should probably back up real quick because um, I have to remember that some of you could be seeing a completely different uh, um, ex uh, platform now with when it comes to Facebook. So uh, as I mentioned, they are often changing and doing new things. And so I, right here at the bottom, uh, it can show you guys, if you are looking at the classic view, which you see here, great. Uh, if you already have the new platform, the new look, and you want to switch back, most everybody should have this switch to a new, uh, switch to the classic view, or in this case, I'm going to switch to the new view, the new look, and uh, we'll just cover that real quick here. If you haven't seen this yet, it's kind of uh, different, <laughs> um, as you can see. There are, um, let me see if I can reduce that size a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's back that out so we can see a little bit more all in one shot. Um, I'm on our business page for um, the West USA branch or bro brokerage. Now, if I hit click up here in the upper corner, you've got your home tab, which is going to take me back to my main news feed for my personal page. Uh, you've got videos here, your marketplace. Groups. Now, this is a big one, and I covered this um, in, a, in a closed group Facebook class that's specifically for uh, closed groups. They've moved the groups tab to be more prominent up here in the navigation, which I think is awesome. When you click on that groups tab, any groups that you belong to, the feed of all most recent posts will be here and listed in the center. And you can kind of see all of the groups in a snapshot. Um, a lot of the groups that we have here at West USA are reflective of our branch location. So each of our branches have their own closed group within West USA. Now, if you are an agent with us and you haven't joined your branch's closed group, feel free to uh, do a search up here in the groups tab or from anywhere on your Facebook page. Uh, you can always find the, hour, the magnifying glass and you can do a search for West USA a realty and then you see as i start to type out the word west usa realty the phrase uh we can break down by city or by our locations and so uh, find your branch location and if you find it go ahead and hit join all of our branch locations have um members that are just agents with west usa realty so we don't have any vendors we don't have anybody outside there uh, only the folks that are in there are going to be agents it's a great place for you to collaborate with other individuals from your branch location uh and since Obviously, all this um, uh, has been happening with the, the uh, COVID in the last month, few months, four months now, going on four months. Can't believe it. Um, this is a great place to communicate with your not your branch officer or your branch officer, <laughs> your branch manager, other uh, agents within the um, branch. And then you'll see information in the way of announcements, uh, Zoom meetings, branch meetings, um, was a time when we do happy hour, but we've been doing virtual happy hours now. So if uh, you want to connect with the folks who are out of your branch, by all means, go ahead and do so and use the closed groups to do that. But I'm going to back up here to our main page again. If you haven't already done so, uh, we'd love for you to go ahead and like our main page. That way you'll follow any information that comes out from us, uh, from the brokerage. We do everything from announcements on webinars, uh, Today's webinar, after it's recorded, will be loaded into our main page so that anyone who visits can always view our past content. We do our Motivational Monday, top 25 agents every month. We like to let everyone know if there's any changes in scheduling. Obviously, we celebrate the holidays like everybody else. And of course, lots of information from all of our uh, thought leaders, coaches, masterminds, anyone here uh, within West USA. Uh, we always push out content. So we're pretty active on our page. Uh, and of course, 
one of the fun things about using our main page is you can always steal our cover photos. So uh, we're obviously aware of the uh, you know events that are happening in our community. We're on board with just like every other employer in the state of Arizona and in the country. You know, we value, value diversity. And so we use this information to showcase you know, where we are as a brokerage and how we are working with the community and being aware of what our agents would like to see from us as well. So you can always steal any, I don't know why that's, see, that would be a glitch. That's a new glitch with the new page. So that's why they rolled out in increments. Uh, there's a lot of changes that are coming to the page. A lot of features are not there. So what I want to do though, is I want to jump back, back to the classic view. So that way we just don't drive everybody crazy. So uh, all right, we're going to jump back into classic view and we're going to move along in that respect. All right, so uh, getting going here, we're going to create a page. Once this loads back up, um, you guys can always create a lot of items from or within Facebook by simply going to the create tab right here in the upper right hand corner next to the home tab. That create button, once you click on it, will drop down. And you can create a number of different items within Facebook. First one being the page, which is what we'll jump into. And then from there, you've got, uh, you can create ads. You can create a closed group. So uh, if you're an agent with West USA and you haven't otherwise thought about this in the past, a smart play for you is to create a group around a community, uh, around a zip code, subdivision, area of town. Uh, chances are it probably already exists in some, to, to some extent. But just know that if someone else has a closed group for, let's say, uh, you know, um, Moon Valley moms or Moon Valley dads or, uh, you know, Norterra bikers or hikers, uh, groups is going to be an awesome play for you guys to create interest groups around um, a specific topic category or uh, most importantly is the neighborhood. So jump into your closed groups for your neighborhood. If you're looking to connect with people, build a relationship. Uh, using groups is great. Look for our webinar on our YouTube channel for the groups webinar specifically. But for the sake of this class, we're going to jump into a page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the page right now. And you have two options when you create a business page. On the left, you have business or brand. And on the right, you have community or public figure. We're actually going to choose business or brand since you are a service. Uh, you are offering a service and a great uh um, or clicking on get started would be a great way to get started. So from there, uh, choosing your name. The uh, There's a lot of, I've seen a lot of variances, I've seen a lot of different names when it comes to <clears throat> naming your business page. The uh, safe way to, to go, the best share practice from uh, AAR, from Judy Lowe, our commissioner of real estate, or our, our commissioner with the real estate board or the, the department of real estate here at Arizona is your first and last name and then um, dash or hyphen and the name of your brokerage. So you always want to identify your brokerage in the name of your business page. If you don't have that, we'll get into where you can make that change if you already have an existing page, uh, if you need to update it, or should you ever leave your brokerage and need to make a name change, you can edit that, which is nice. Um, and But identifying you first uh, and then your brokerage is important. Do, uh, you want to avoid not just using the brokerage name. So you can't just be West USA Realty, can't be you know any of the other brokerage names. Because what happens is if a consumer or someone who's doing their homework is looking for you, they're going to know your name, they're going to do a search for you, and then they're not going to find your page. And we also don't want to confuse the consumer to come to uh, a, your page and they think it's the brokerage, and then you know someone leaves a review, and then you're like, well, that wasn't me. So uh, we want to be very uh, thorough and make sure that your name is included as well as the brokerage. Your category is pretty simple. If you start to type the word real, uh, you will see that Facebook auto populates some options there for you. Real estate agent being number one, natural selection. So we're going to go from there. Now, next step is you have to add your address. Uh, you have two options here. You can put your home address if you like, and then when you do, be sure to click on don't show my address here at the tab. Most of us, uh, most agents will put their brokerage address. So in this case, uh, you will put the, the address of your brokerage, and um, then that will list you being tied to that physical location of the branch location, wherever you're at. Our Tukey, Mesa, Phoenix, Scottsdale, Goodyear, 
lots of options. So feel free to do that. And then you can go ahead and simply hit continue. I'm going to hit do not show my address. So it does not register with their um, indexing. Here we go. So I forgot to type the word Phoenix. We're going to choose Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, phone number, since I've done this a few times, is 602-942-4200. That's our phone number here at the uh, brokerage. Go ahead and hit continue, or if you'd like, put your phone number in there. Uh, it's optional, but if you want them to call you directly, whoop, let's change that. You know what? Let's do something here real quick. I have to, because remembering from my past webinars, and uh, that often trips up the form. So we're going to choose... All right, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and continue and move forward. And we're good. Now there's gonna be two questions or three questions that are gonna pop up. They're gonna want me to put in a, a headshot, cover photo. Uh, we're gonna skip those. I wanna show you guys the blank template before we start filling in some of that information. Uh, I'm gonna hit skip on this one, yeah, hit skip again. Of course, if you're creating one with me along at the same time, go ahead and hit skip. And then the last one is the ability to include a booking calendar. Um, not really usable for you guys as an agent. Um, if you're going to book an appointment with an agent, well, I hope by now you would have a conversation with them. We've communicated with them more formally. So using the booking, this is great for maybe like a hair salon or a dentist or a hotel. But we're going to skip that since it's not really relevant to what we do at, uh, as a real estate agent. All right, so here you go. Uh, the uh, general template of your business page looks very similar to your personal page. And if you've already created a personal page, I'm sure this will pretty much come uh, natural to you. But uh, we do want to go around the horn and create our business page. Uh, and starting in the upper left-hand corner, you have your cover photo or your headshot. Sorry. Um your name changed with the auto populate. Yeah, thank you, Tilda. <laughs> I, I went back and got got that. So, um, your uh, your profile photo should, in most cases, if you're comfortable with it, I would recommend using a professional headshot. Um, it is an industry standard. You know, you are your business. You know, so people want to see what you look like. You know, I know. I don't. You know, I, I'm often curious too. Like, how did the whole let's put our face on our business card thing became such an industry standard in, in real estate. You know, I know it's something years and years and years ever since I was a kid, you know, you always just, it just seemed like something that happened many years ago and everyone does it now. So uh, they put their photo on everything. And I think at the end of the day, um, you know, personal branding has a huge play in that. And so that's why we do that. So uploading a photo uh, from your device, whether that be from your laptop, uh, of course, I'm at the mercy of whatever's in this computer again, so I know we go through this every every time. So let me just find a quick JPEG, and we're going to just see what happens. So uh, obviously, I prefer this to be a professional headshot. I'm just using any image that's available to me on our device. Uh, cool. We're just going to go ahead and drop that in there. It's a flyer from a past class. All right. And we're going to load that up real quick, hit save, and then that should populate into our profile photo on the left. There you go. All right. So uh, next is your cover photo. And by the way, too, if you guys are looking for headshots, um, you can ask around in your closed group branch location. There's a lot of agents out there who are photo enthusiasts, uh, who moonlight, do some photography on the side. And so uh, ask around. I know loan officers, title reps have typically sponsored headshots before in the past. Uh, uh, again, because of in light of what's going on right now, we really haven't seen a lot of in-office activities, sponsored events, everything's been virtual. So uh, maybe you know someone who's got a really good iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. Uh, it's amazing the cameras that are coming out now on our devices. And so, um, you know, uh, do your best to get a good headshot. Tip for you here, make sure you're headshot for your business page is um, separate or different than your personal page. That'll help you out when you're in your Facebook account, uh, keeping track of like, okay, I know that one because it's branded for me. If I'm, you know, I'm in a suit or a blouse or I'm professionally dressed, whatever that looks like to you. Uh, that'll help you keep your two pages um, um, apart. Now, when I say apart, what I mean is, is that uh, the two pages aren't linked, meaning if I visit your business page, much like if I went to Target or if I went to Walmart or a restaurant's business page, I don't know who the admin is. I don't know who runs the page. 
um, there's no way for me. They're not, they're not technically tied together on the front end. So, uh, but because you are your business, your name is your business, figuring out where or if you have a personal page is as easy as doing a simple search. So just know that if you post on your personal page, it's not going to automatically post to your business page. Uh, you would have to share your content in order to do that. So uh, there really is no front end connection in that respect. Uh, choosing a cover photo, uh, simple as your profile photo, just click on the ad cover and then upload your photo to your uh, account. Now, um, again, I didn't set myself up for success here because I didn't make sure to load one in, but I'm going to go ahead. I believe that is a profile or a cover photo. It is. That was the one I used in March. All right. Uh, happy March 136th. I know we're, uh, I feel like we're stuck in March from when all this stuff started happening. But um, using a cover photo, uh, profile photo is important. Having high res imagery, always a compliment when you're using social media. So wherever you find your profile photo, that top image that lives at the top, make sure it's branded for your brokerage. Um, two elements that you want to do. You want to make sure that you have your logo on there. And then also, since your page represents your selling, uh, your advertising, you want to make sure they're very small right here, but that is the registered R for the realtor trademark, uh, the MLS listing or the MLS logo icon as well. And then the fair housing, those three typically live together. So uh, make sure that you have those three together. If you don't have those, I actually have all three in one image, a, a PNG or a transparency. And then I also have them in white and black. So they be depending on what your cover photo is. You can uh, shoot me an email, K-E-I-T-H at WestUSA.com. I'll be happy to send those to you. If you are an agent with us, I can also send you a couple of logos, some high-res logos. I like to use Canva when creating cover photos. Uh, you can go to canva.com. If you haven't been uh, on my Canva webinar, we actually, um, uh, I have actually had a couple of classes where we've taught the basics of using Canva and um, your, uh, let's see here, there we go. Uh, the basics of using Canva, creating not only um, your profile photos, uh, your cover photos, but a ton of other stuff for real estate, whether it's trifolds, handouts for um, your open houses, business cards, flyers, graphic designs, Instagram posts. Um, I'm not going to jump too far into it, but I just want to let you guys know you can create your own cover photos here. Easy to use. And of course, if you ever have a listing or a, a luxury property, a feature property you want to highlight, you can always do a, make a cool collage and use this area as well. So uh, from there, uh, we've got our profile photo in, we've got our cover photo. So now I'm going to take you guys around the horn for your um, navigation. On the left-hand side, you'll see home services reviews. If you don't see any more, just click on that see more tab. And what that'll do is open your navigation for you and allow you to see some additional options you have on your Facebook page. Now, shop, offer, these aren't really relevant to a real estate agent, so you can toggle these off. And something that I like to advise real estate agents to do, uh, or any business owner for that matter, is to make sure you can categorize these in the manner or in the uh, order in which they are most viewed. Now, statistically it's shown that people visit your about section to learn more about you or to find your contact information. And then they look at your videos and photos. And so if you'd like to, you can reorganize these simply by scrolling back up to the top of your business page and clicking on the settings tab, which is right here above your uh, cover photo. That tab is always in that same spot. So you can go ahead and click on settings. And um, Sheldon, yes, my email address is Keith at WestUSA.com. It's K-E-I-T-H at WestUSA. Um, feel free to email me. And of course, again, any questions or comments after this, feel free to uh, email me and I'll help you out. Not a problem. All right. So uh, you get into your settings for your business page. There are a lot of settings here. So uh, take the time to go through. You can do a lot of things from restricting age, uh, profanity level, which is, um, you know, if anyone uses a profanity, not that you would have that problem. I would hope you wouldn't have that problem. 
but as you can imagine, there's probably business pages out there representing a number of different interests where people may get a little heated. And so you can obviously control uh, anybody who is using profanity and shut that down real quick. So uh, I could probably use that in a lot of places. <laughs> uh, over here on your left side of your navigation, we're going to go to temple, uh, templates and tabs. If you want to reorganize your navigation, uh, we're going to click on templates and tabs. And once the page loads up here, uh, what's really cool is you can actually edit these to your liking. So by scrolling down, uh, you will see here's the navigation as it, as it reflected on the other side, services, um, reviews, shop, offers, photos. You can simply click with your mouse or press down on your trackpad and you can drag these guys around. You can reorganize these and that will reflect back on the main page. So uh, offers, not really relevant to real estate. So I will click on the settings tab and then toggle that off and that will turn it off so it is no longer visible on your business page. Um, shop, not a retail, not an e-commerce store. So I'm going to turn that one off as well and hit, hit save and then... Um, uh, remove that as well. Uh, now, as I mentioned, about is typically one of the most visited sections of your page. So I will click and drag this up to the very top and we'll move this up just below home. Um, services will move down and I'll move up uh, photos, probably go second. Videos go third. Reviews is important, whether you uh, have folks review you on one of your real estate pages or on Google. Um, definitely want to encourage people to. Um, review you on Google, a Google My Business listing, and then of course the Realtor.com, Zillow.com, because those reviews are important. So uh, I know I don't do it enough when I have uh, clients who I have helped in the past, uh, you know, hey, if you liked working with me or you found any value with what I've shared, please, you know, visit my business page and hit and do a review. I really appreciate it. So always ask for reviews, especially when you know that you've had a great experience with your buyer or seller. So from there, that's it. I've organized those the way I want. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and jump back up to the very top. I don't need to hit save on anything. Once I reorganize the navigation the way I want it, uh, I'll go back up to the, the page tab here and click on page. And we'll go back to the main page. So just some other things I wanted to point out for you guys. If you're looking to get some uh, follows, some likes, you want people to like your page, once your page is completed, you've uh, added in a cover photo, added in uh, your um, uh, your profile photo, there are a number of things you can do to uh, get people to come like your page, share with your friends and family, post it to your personal page. But before you do, before you ha ha start encouraging people to like your page, you want to make sure that all your information is completed. And when I say that, I mean, let's go back over here to the uh, navigation tab on the left-hand side and click on that about section. Now, when you click on the about section, there's some additional, additional information about you and your business that you would need to fill out. Stuff that you probably already know, uh, we wanna make sure that we put them in there as well. Uh, under your general information, which you see right there, we've already selected real estate agent. Uh, here, if you already have a page and you need to change the name, or ever need to change anything about the name. Um, maybe you have a misspelling or spacing is wrong or you leave your brokerage and go somewhere else. You can make the edit here by simply clicking edit and then changing your name. Uh, typical changes can be up to anywhere to take three days for it to take hold, but um, feel free to go there to make your changes. Now, some additional information for you guys I want you to jump into real quick. We're gonna go to the edit, um, sorry, not edit, uh, down here to contact information. You can add now your email address and your website. Important to add your email address to um, your uh, business page. So we're gonna go ahead and put in Keith at westusa.com and we're gonna go ahead and save. Now my e email information will appear. Now, if you have a website, you have a, you know, Keith sells homes or, you know, best real estate guy or AZ real estate, uh, guru, whatever your URL, your whatever your website name is, make sure you enter that in there as well. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and use the normal, the regular website for this purpose and hit enter. Okay, so pretty simple. So just going through and populate this information. So making sure that all your information is uh, in there and people can follow um, your uh, other digital properties. One other uh, t uh, tab here that 
I suggest filling out is ours, your story. Uh, this specific um, story part lives on your main business page. And let's, all right, looks like we got another fire. Okay. Hey, uh, on your business page, on the right-hand side down here, whoop, no, we're not, we're not going there. There we go. All right. Um, this mouse is a little more sensitive than I'm used to. So let me get back to my page. Perfect. Now I opened the new tab because I wanted to show you what you're going to be doing on the front end. On your business page on the right hand side, you'll see here uh, this this image where it says about West USA Realty, and then it, it, you hit see more. This is what we're going to be filling out. So this will be different for everyone, uh, depending on what you want to put. Again, don't feel like you need to put something now. Think about this a little bit because you have this beautiful high res image. So maybe this is you working with some past clients. Maybe this is you at an open house. Um, maybe like a behind the scenes shot. So if you have a friend or a family member who can accompany you that day or a team member, uh, maybe you're walking and doing a walk and talk with some potential clients and someone takes a candid shot of you guys ha, 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 laughing it up like this guy here. Whatever that image you want it to be, it's going to be a great image. And then you can fill in a little bit of a bio about yourself. Really simple to do. Approach it almost like a blog post. Um, drag and drop or click in here to upload a photo uh, that you would like to put in. I'm just going to go ahead and use the existing profile or the cover photo that we used earlier. And then I'm going to change my title. And so what if this is my story or, um, you know, welcome or our story or meet the team or meet Keith, however, if you, if you want to, uh, you know, speak about yourself in third person, um, you know, whatever that looks like to you, then you can, um, down here below, add in your bio, um, why you're an agent, what areas of town you service, uh, how long you've been an agent, anything you think it's relevant, interesting about you that you'd like to share, do so here so that when anyone visits your business page, they will actually have an opportunity to learn more about you and see this here. Uh, you can actually even drop in a, a video link, which is pretty cool too. Um, you can link in, let's see here. Uh, where you see where it says there's a little image here. This is a formatting tool. So you see where there's that little universal icon for an image. You can upload a photo uh, to and add another additional photo into your body. So maybe it's a sh maybe it's a shot of your family. You know, you get the kids, uh, mom, dad, whatever you want to do. Uh, this is your opportunity to showcase your personality and just share a little bit about you. Chances are the things that you like, the things that you're into, other people are as well. And this is your chance to be likable. Uh, again, uh, li being likable, likability is a huge element in the play for folks when um, deciding, you know, hey, do I want to work with this person? And I know I'm a huge advocate for video. I think that, if you, you know, if you're someone who's comfortable with humor, if you're someone who's comfortable with, you know, showcasing a little bit about your personality, maybe you have a, you know, crazy human trick that you can do. Um, you know, it's okay to do that. Uh, people want to see that because then they feel a connection with you and then they will be more comfortable having you represent them in the home selling or buying process. So that's your about section. Um, there's a lot of other information in here that's not really relevant to real estate. Uh, you don't, um, uh, there used to be like, a, there was a menu tab here, but that they finally took that away because it didn't have any relevance when it came to being an agent. Uh, there's another about section here that only gives you about 255 words, I think. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a, a just a snippet of your about section that will live on your main page as well. So uh, just make, make your way around the horn there. Fill out your information. Uh, if you have any other team members uh, other than yourself, you can add them in here. That lets everyone know that there's additional team members to your page. Uh, but for the most part, your about section is uh, all set. And I'm going to click on this right here and see if we can get back to the main page. Um, you might be asking yourself, what is this create username? Not a huge deal. I don't often uh, advise filling it out, but it's completely up to you. Your username, much like Twitter on Instagram, uh, any one of your other social media platforms, the at symbol and then Keith, like for instance, I always give Keith sells homes as an example. Um, your handle is going to be specific to you, meaning that when you choose this username, um, whoop, Keith sells homes, 
as you can see when I did a search for that, the username is already uh, taken. So you're, I'm not gonna be able to use that one. So that lives, that is a specific username for the you, the person who, when you choose this. What the point of the uh, the user the point of the using this actual um, username is for people to find you faster when they're using Facebook because Facebook has so many other common names or common uh, search results. If someone were to search, you know, Keith West USA, I'm going to get a ton of results for West USA. Um, there, you're you're going to see a lot of other agents. So when they actually use this specific handle and they use the at symbol, if anyone visits Facebook and they put in at and whatever your username is, and then they perform a search, the actual number one topper search result is going to, well, let's see. Oh, he must not be, uh, oh, that, of course, I knew that happened. <laughs> uh, usually Keith Sells Homes is, yeah, he must have, I mean, he must have closed his page. There was a gentleman out of um, Wisconsin who uh, sold homes and he had the handle key sells homes. I always use it as an example, but that's not the case today. So up to you, you if you want to use a, trying to use, find a username that works best, that's why it exists. Uh, looks good on a business card, marketing materials, any co collateral uh, advertising, uh, you know, find me on Facebook at Keith sells homes, whatever that looks like to you. All right. So we want to find some friends and family members um, when it comes to posting and using our business page. Let's load this guy back up. All right, here we go. When you're on your business page, uh, first and foremost, if you created a business page from scratch, be the first person to like you. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button there. And what that'll happen is uh, you are you have now liked your own business page from your personal page. Uh, across the tab here, you've got follow, share, and then the three little dots, the ellipsis, will take you into another navigation screen. To start off with your business page, I recommend hitting the share tab. When you click on the share tab, that's going to open up a dialog box for you that allows you to either uh, share this business page with a lot of people at one time or be more tactical and specifically target folks in a message. So uh, in this case, I'm going to choose the drop down box from the share tab and I'm going to choose share in a private message. Uh, what this does is open a private message box and allows me then to select individuals, <coughs> excuse me, on the um, on the page and then share with them a direct message about this business page. So whether you find a business page around a new product, service, target, whatever the case may be, you can share anyone's business page with friends and family. Um, but I'm choosing to do so in a private message. The reason why I suggest doing a private message when you're creating a business page and whether you've had a business page and you haven't done this yet or you're doing it for the first time, um, this is a great way for you to, to uh, get some additional people to like your page and aware that you are a page member. Even if you uh, have a new client and you're halfway through the contract or you're about to close, um, be sure to, to invite your clients to your business page. Because on your business page, you should be sharing information not only about uh, the home selling and buying process, but other things too, like community events, uh, things that are happening in the neighborhood. One thing you can do to uh, improve the value property, the value of your property after the sale, maybe you partner with a contractor uh, or a uh, organizer, a professional organizer, uh, a uh, remodeler, landscaper, any number of services that you uh, would provide or can offer to an a, a home buyer or seller, uh, you can always share your business page with them and encourage them to follow you because uh, you always put out information about what's happening in the area. And then that way too, it's a great way for you to stay top of mind with your past clients because uh, often, and sadly you hear this, uh, that you run into a past client and they're like, oh, I couldn't remember your name and my brother wanted to buy a house and you know they went with somebody else and you just kind of, you walk away kicking yourself like, ah, why didn't they remember me? So uh, encouraging people to follow your business page after the fact will help you stay top of mind with them. Um, statistically, it's shown when you send a private message, people are more likely to respond. Uh, and then in the form of this way is getting you them to like your page. So I recommend, you know, choosing your top five, 10, 15, your circle of trust, your circle of influence, your friends and family members. Uh, if you haven't done so, you know, send them a private message and, uh, you know, let them know 
uh, I'm now an agent with whatever brokerage. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm now, uh, <laughs> and I can't talk and type at the same time. So I'm now an agent. Um, and then whatever your message is, it's been a while since we've seen you. Great connecting at the family reunion. Send them a private message. Let them know that you're now a real estate agent with West USA Realty or any brokerage that you're with. And then that way, uh, they will be more likely to follow your page. And then, of course, encourage them. Hey, if you know someone who would like to learn more information about the home selling buying process, love for you to share my page with them as well and get them to like your page and grow your business organically. So uh, in any course, you can go through all your lists and hit send and send private messages. So great way to get that going. Um, your page for the most part is built. So building on a page is not a huge uh, complication or it's not very complicated at all, but just getting to use your page. The most important thing I'm going to go through just a couple tips for you here real quick. Um, I know I don't have anything on the screen to share with you, but um, when you're posting your, to your business page, try to find out, uh, try to use a broad stroke of content in the beginning. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, an editorial calendar is going to be important for you choosing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday cadence, whatever that looks like to you. Um, do your best to share high value content. And when I say high value content, meaning don't just always post about your listing, just listed, just sold. Try to find some content about uh, the community, uh, whether you spotlight a small business owner, whether you partner with the nonprofit. Uh, more now than ever, your local community is looking to connect with uh, resources. If you have the information of that your goal is to be the in-the-know agent, uh, whether you're in a closed group sharing content or whether you're on your business page. Um, get yourself an editorial calendar and then do your best to uh, use the scheduling feature um, on your posts. Uh, and I just put a couple of zeros there just to show you guys. All right, here we go. Where did... Oh, we're grinding here. Okay, so we're... Didn't give me that. Let's try this again. One second here. Uh, I'm not going to upload a photo. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is it. I don't know, but this is weird. So I just want to type a few. Interesting. So, all right. Background. Cool. So it's just going right to post, but it wasn't giving me a schedule. Interesting. I love when Facebook does that in a live environment. It, it, it's uh, is completely missing an element to posting. Yeah, there's not a, usually when it says post or publish. Post. Oh, they moved into publishing tools. Okay, so we've got some changes. So if you ever want to schedule a post uh, in your publishing tools, this navigation here across the top, they, they, they moved it on me, very kind, kind of them. Uh, this navigation here across the top always remains the same. You've got your page, your inbox is for messengers. So anyone who messages you, send you a message, will be in the inbox. Uh, your manage jobs, it's a new tab that they've added for a while. And they've added it for a lot of businesses. If you're hiring, uh, you can post jobs, publishing tools, and then more. So there's insights, your ad center. There's quite a bit when it comes to uh, some additional features that they offer. Your publishing tools tab is pretty nice because it basically strips out all the other noisy stuff that's around your page, uh, other ads, other functions. You can go right into just publishing. So this is where you want to live on a Sunday night, sit down, uh, list out what you're going to post for the week ahead, and you can create your posts and then schedule them. And so when creating a new post, uh, you can choose where you would like that to live. Facebook is always, as you can see, welcome to the new post creation tool. Um, so you can add checkmark uh, Facebook, which is nice is once you've linked your Instagram account to your business page, you can cross post all in one shot. So in this case, uh, Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed, and then you can start. OK, so switch back. Yeah, they got classic mode. So if you want to go back classic mode. Um, they're always changing something. So it's always good to kind of reconnect with these classes. I do the Facebook class uh, once a month, the beginning of the month, always changing. And in this case, it changed on me before I even could uh, find out about it. Uh, add your text, upload your imagery, and then you can add a call to action button, which is really cool. Learn more, link it up with your listing, maybe wherever you want to take them. And then you can schedule or uh, post now. 
I like the scheduling tool because you, what you can do is choose the date and time in which it posts. If you're out doing all the other stuff that you do as an agent, then your social media is dropping in the time and the date that you wish it to. And it kind of gives the perception that you're active on social media, but you've already already front loaded all that stuff on a Sunday night. And then you can go out and do go about your business as an agent. So, um, some tips for you, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays seem to be the high peak days for posting. That's when most people are active on social media. Uh, anywhere between 10 and 1 PM is very popular, typically the lunch times. So, uh, when posting your content, uh, you know, look for what's going to work for you, whether um, uh, you post content uh, at night or in the morning, go back and look at your analytics, which would be in your insights. And you can always see the reach, the engagement and your reactions. Uh, reach is going to be how many people that have actually seen your content. Engagement is going to be anyone who likes, comments, shares, clicks on anything. A uh, number of the times the person actually engages with the, um, the content reactions and likes so you know that's the the thumb the smiley face the anger face the cry whatever it looks like uh the reactions will show up there and then comments obviously getting anyone to comment on your content is great and will help with your um the weight it'll help with your organic reach for your content um next thursday's class i it's on the calendar you can go to west usa oh i'm not, I'm not gonna post it i just was typing yeah <laughs> um west usa calendar.com we have a number of classes that we do here at West USA, whether it's a free CE class, whether it is a um, uh, general education class, social media class. Uh, don't do that with Bob, our, one of our uh, de, uh, managing brokers who's been there for a number of years, has always some great, crazy stories on them. You can't believe that, that happened, so don't do that. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing canva basic for real estate uh, so as i mentioned earlier in my class we're doing canva again so we'll be jumping in and showing you guys how to create some awesome high-res images content content for your uh social media instagram you name it wherever you want to put it like always wrap this up here just after 11 o'clock if you have any questions feel free to email me i'm keith at westusa.com uh, feel free to visit our youtube channel where we have our past uh, webinars including this one that's coming up by the end of the day today and as always, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic day. Be kind and be safe. And we'll see you next week.